No, no, here we are with some Nancy Drew. Danger by design. Will there be danger? Will there be designs? I don't know. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. I always seem to be off solving mysteries. Shut up, Nancy. No one here cares about your life. Here I am at the railroad station along with a handful of other detectives about to board a train bound for Can't hear myself think this bitch is so where. loud. I the thought I was loud. Who knows where we're going. Anyway, here's my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new it's to the real helpful. solving business. And be sure to check Thank out my you. Scrapbook. We don't need to I know, Nancy. We're experts already. We're already are experts, bitch. And at times really scary. But don't say anything about that. <gasps> Let's see. Travel to Paris and work as an assistant to Manette. An up-and-coming American fashion designer. <gasps> Ooh, whose behavior has lately become alarmingly bizarre and erratic. She's on drugs. She's been firing people left, right, and left. Well, are they idiots? Or is she a monster? Throwing temper tantrums, refusing to return phone calls, running dangerously behind schedule, wearing a full face mask all day, every day, even while working. Wow, that seems oddly relevant right now in 20. 21. Uh, real assignment. Discover the reason for Minette's strange behavior and report back to Amy, a client of Dad's and Minette's biggest financial backer who wants to know. <gasps> We're working for the shareholders. Oh, God. Yo, do I get stock for working on this? Like, I want a percentage, dude. Or maybe stock options. Is Minette cracking under the pressure of trying to make her spring collection even more spectacular than her fall collection was? Will she have enough designs done for there to even be a spring collection? Is she up to something Miss Grunhild doesn't know about? <gasps> was investing in Minette a mistake? It was. Invest in me. Is it time to pull a financial plug on her? Additional info has one other assistant, an American named Heather, with whom I will be working. Her studio is in an old windmill in a section of Paris called Montmartre. Oh, like an Amelie, wow. All right. Yes, I would like to start. I'm a senior detective, thank you very much. It's been a while since I did Nancy Drew, I'm excited. There we go, Nancy Platt <laughs> crashed into the ocean and died. Sure You'll never up. solve this mystery. Oh, let's get a hot Taxi. Parisian dude. Hello? Ah! Ah! I said don't come near me. No, Minette, don't! Stay back, you hear me? Stay back! I mean, are you Nancy? Uh, yeah? I'm Heather McKay. Welcome! I'm so glad you're here. How was your flight? Uh, fine. Well, actually, they lost my suitcase, so I don't have any clothes or my cell phone. What's going on in there? Is someone hurt? That's just Minette throwing one of her tantrums. Don't worry. She'll stop screaming right now. Ah, but I'll suitcase? start. That's terrible. Oh, well, at least you're staying with Jing Jing. She'll have tons of clothes you can borrow. Does this happen a lot? Do, you know, I just recorded it. I can post it to our anti-work. We can get her canceled. Does this happen a lot? Oh, you mean Minette? Don't worry, she's fine. At least she will be after phase three, which should begin right about... No, she's not yeah. fine. This bitch needs serious therapy. What do you mean? See, she uses this process that some shrink taught her to manage anger and She's a new therapist then. First, she vents her rage for ten seconds, then six seconds of sobs and tears, and finally, at least four seconds of robust laughter. All of which restores her positive flux. Huh? 
It's all very weird, but it works. And it works! Me. Without it, she would be impossible to work for. With it, she's a mere nightmare to work for. Anyway, ready to get started? Does France have some, like, employee rights? What's going on here? How much do you make that this is worth it? Oh, maybe she likes it for the drama, too. Um... Yeah, that depends. How much am I getting paid for that those depends. shit? On what? On how closely I'm going to have to be working with Manette. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> that desk over there will be your workstation. I made a list of all the things that need to get done and put them on your computer. That's a Metro Pass. It'll let you ride the subway all over the city for free. Go ahead and take it. Answering the phone is your job. If you have any questions, just ask. Ask me, that is. Do not bother Manette. Let's bother She's her. She's behind on her spring collection and is in danger of falling way behind on her couture projects. Just make some dumb shit and call it like fashionable art. It's fine. Like, let me take over. Why is she so far behind? She's been under a lot of stress lately. Heather? She needs some yes? dick in. I hear voices. Who are you talking to out there? Nancy Drew, you know, from the States. Well, she's no good to me out there. Send her in. Yes, Manette. As soon as you feel up to it, she's right through that door. What do you mean by couture? <laughs> Nancy, don't act like you're not a rich little brat with fucking couture Needless to say, bought from your parents. Tray riche. In fact, she's designing the dress the First Lady will wear to the World Summit in November. Wow. Uh -huh. Talk to you later. Have fun. Wait, all right. Oh. Wait, that's the front door. <laughs> just leave now. Fuck it. We got the fucking subway pass. Let's just go on vacation. Well, there you are. I was just about to call Amy Grunhild and tell her that this internship thing she'd arranged for you was off. What? It's bad enough Amy foisting you on me like this. The day I become financially independent and can tell people like her to buzz off will be the happiest day of my life. Well, you're here, we've met, so get to work. Heather did give you a list of chores, right? All right, time to suck up and be employee number one. Do the whole mask vibe. I got this. <laughs> no, I'm not wearing this. Yo, bitch, you're crazy. <laughs> Yeah. You know, honestly, though, like, sometimes famous people need, like, a thing. Maybe that's, like, her thing. But she didn't need to be a bitch. Uh, I have questions. Can I ask you a couple of Several. questions first? No. One more thing. See that form over there? The one I've just started to drape? Don't touch it. Don't even go near it. That's the dress I'm designing for the first lady. Now go. Actually, make me a pot of my special tea first. It was custom blended by my tea therapist, so make sure you follow the directions. Oh, God. When you're done, pour me a cup and leave it on the table. A nice big boost of herbal energy never fails to get my brain cells firing. What is in that tea? What is in that tea? Where's the tea? Hugo Butterly, eat your Let's go touch the first lady dress. Where is it? Let me Let's touch see. It. To make Minette her tea, oh. the first thing I should do is read these instructions. Then I should put whichever herbs the instructions say I need Can into I fuck this it up? pot of boiling water. Then when I'm done, I should click on the teapot so I can pour the tea into a cup. If I make a mistake and need to throw out an herb that I chose no. or the tea itself, all I have to do is click on the sink. Okay, I think I'm ready. Let's see. After a painstaking analysis of her body type, age, mood, swings, eating habits, and lifestyle, I formulated the following blend for Manette and for Manette only. I want some. I want whatever she's on. The consequences of anyone but Manette drinking this tea could be catastrophic. If the tea is blended correctly, it will have a pleasant taste and an instant soothing effect. If made incorrectly, it will taste foul and have a negative effect on mood. Therefore, the guidelines below must be strictly adhered to. Ooh, let's give her fucked up tea and have her go real crazy. Always have the following herbs on hand. My god, dude, I don't have time for this shit. Oh. What is this shit? 
Gibbering? Is that a real thing? Yellow buttons? If Minette has had a temper tantrum in the last 14 days, and if she declares that blue is her favorite color on the day... Excuse me, Minette, but what's your favorite color? Red. Okay, she did have a temper tantrum, but blue is not her favorite color today. Yo, is she wearing a dress? Wait. I don't think she was. Let me see. What up, bitch? At? Yeah, you've really outdone yourself. Weird. I'm scared, you guys. I'm really scared. All right. So, wait, are you right handed today? Let's check that. Maybe she's this right handed. What's she doing? She was writing, so we'll be able to tell. Yeah, she's right handed today. All right, I'm going to make the right handed tea. I'm going to hope that's the right one. Rude. Damn, she's ahead of her time. This can wait. No, bitch, it can't wait. All right, right-handed herbs are in the Gaviform family. Where's the fucking herb book? I don't know this shit. I think I know this later. shit. I don't know that shit. She wants that tea right now, though. Yo, you got an herb I book, want that bitch? Tea, Nancy. Okay, I get it, but like, right, I'm gonna go ask that other girl. Where's the fucking door? Get me out of here, you Jesus Christ! Butterly, eat your heart out. Manette, you really outdone yourself. Oh my God, she's so crazy. Hey, bitch. Forget something. Why does she wear the mask? Why does Manette wear that mask? All I know is that back in March, on the last day of her big fall show. She showed up wearing that mask, and she hasn't taken it off since. You didn't know she was going to do that? No. No one did. Not even Dieter. That was her boyfriend at the time. Dieter! Dieter von the fashion photographer. Has this windmill or moulin always been a fashion design studio? No. In fact, until a year or two ago, this little old lady lived here. When she passed away, this place went on the market and Minette snapped it up. Ghost. See, Minette has this thing about curves. She claimed working in a quasi-round environment like this would make her more productive. And has it? As if. But she has gotten a lot of press out of it. In fact, if there's one thing I've learned from Minette, it's that how a designer behaves is likely to get her just as much attention in the fashion world as what she designs. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that vibe. But Thanks the tantrums Whenever you have questions, that people don't ask. see, what's that about? I forget something? No, I just Talk don't know what the bird okay. blue family is in the tea world. Okay. Oh. Cute. There's gotta be a tea book somewhere on this bitch. What's, that? What's in this folder? That's a project I'm working on. Well, supposed to be working on. Oh, I'm gonna mm. snoop in it right mm. in front of. Oh, okay. No, I won't. <laughs> Dang. Books, books, books. No? What's that? What's this? That's the plotter. It's broken. Fixing it is one of your jobs. Bitch, do I look like a mechanic? Cause I'm not. Dumbass people. Yeah, that's it.
Get sticks. Fuck. Oh, I'm close though. Oh, it really fucked that one up. <laughs> Shit. Whoops. Fuck. Bitch. I'm getting closer. This has got to be it. Come on, be the one. Fuck, I didn't even see. I didn't see it. Fuck this. Sunny was here. Who the fuck is Sunny? Miss McKay, in anticipation of the final fitting for the first lady's evening gown, please be advised that two of our agents may visit your premises in the near future. <gasps> Security risks. Wow. Pick up envelope from JJ Ling. Pick up fabric photos from Dieter von Schwesterkrank. Deliver photos to John Mitchell Trequenard. Fix plotter. <laughs> do whatever Manette tells you to do and do it fast. Let's leave this joint. Fuck this place. <laughs> Not one herb booklet. Ooh, candy. These doodles sure look familiar. Sunny. Sunny June did them. He must have been Manette's last assistant. Wow, that guy gets around. Wow. Can you believe it? All right, anyways. There's all this trash on the floor. Oh. Get me out of here. Leave this foul place. Hell. There's something on the floor here. Looks like someone slipped it under the door. It's mm -hmm. for Manette. Go ahead and open it. Make it's the poison. most of what little time you have left. Soon it will all be over. Is that a threat? Oh, no, not another one. Manette's gotten other letters like this? Letters, phone calls. They started sometime in April, then they stopped, then they started up again in July. And last month, someone sent Minette dead flowers every day for a week. She locks the letters up in her dodo box over there in order to neutralize them. Should I give this letter to Minette? Just put it in the dodo box. How do you open this thing? You don't. There's a lock on it, but Minette is convinced that if she opens it, all the wickedness in there will escape and wreak havoc. In fact, don't say anything to her about that letter. It'll just upset her. And if she falls any further behind, she'll have to cancel her show next Let's month. Let's tell her. And if that happens, she may as well cancel her career. Well, I'll see you Where later. Where I learned who Dieter is. I'm gonna tell her. Yo, bitch. I want that tea, Nancy. Alright. <laughs> One day you'll get it. I'm so fired. Let's leave. What's here? Ooh. No, no, don't say anything. Let me guess. You lost your passport, so you're looking for the American consulate to get it replaced. Only you wound up here because you asked a Parisian for directions, and you thought you understood what he said, only you did it. Am I right? Uh, I'm looking for Dieter. Actually, I'm looking for Dieter von Schwesterkrank. Dieter von Schwesterkrank. Please don't tell me you're a would-be model who thinks her career would take Good off bitch. if only I would photograph her. No, my name's Nancy Drew. Minette sent me here to pick up some fabric photos. Ah, I regret to say I have not printed them up yet, nor will I have time to do so for quite a while. Had I used my digital cameras, there would be no problem, but unfortunately, the essence of those fabrics was better captured by film. You're not really going to make me go back to Minette and tell her that, are you? Hmm. She's going to cut off your balls, dude, she can if she hasn't already. Do you know how to make prints? No, bitch, and I'm not doing your fucking job for you. Uh, no. Then you will learn. There is a binder on the bookshelf that will tell you how to make prints with the paper I use, which is Krollmeister Eskachrom PB paper. The dark room is through the door with the red light by it, and the four negatives from which prints need to be made are next to the enlarger. I'm sure you'll do fine. I'm sure you won't fuck it up at all. 
fucking asshole. Ah, you're done making those prints? I have a question. I have a question. Not Why are you a little prints, bitch? I hope. It's about something else. What? I hear that you used to date Minette. That oh. is correct. Why did you two break up? If you don't mind my asking. Snoopin. You'd have to ask her. She broke up with me by leaving a message on my cell phone, and she hasn't said a word to me since. It was an unforgivable outrage. I don't claim to be a paragon of virtue, but even I didn't deserve that. You've had no contact at all with Minette since she broke it off? None. All my dealings with her now are strictly professional, with Heather handling any and all communication between us. He's gonna murder her. Have you tried communicating with her anonymously? Are you accusing me of something? Should I be? Of course not. You know, curiosity is not necessarily a good thing for a line. I try to remember that if I were you. Is that a threat, bitch? What's your opinion of Minette's assistant, Heather McKay? Heather's a bright girl. Her crush on me is unfortunate, but I can handle it. She has a crush on you? It's obvious to me that she does. Dealing with models the way I do day in and day out, I've gotten pretty good at knowing what women are thinking and feeling. Do a lot of women have crushes on you? Oh, Less. yes. You see, models do their best work in front of photographers they feel they can trust. So to thrive professionally, I've worked hard to develop an aura of compassion and trustworthiness. Unfortunately, all women recognize and respond to it, regardless of the fact that I will never return their affections, Heather included. I think I'll go to work on those but prints now. They literally just want a modeling gig. Oh, it's duck. Oh, a fish. Sad. Oh god, the dark room. Okay. Two to nine seconds. Enlarger, negatives, developer, stop math, fixer. May I take this blue to the dark room? I mean red, me? white, Leave it blue. Here, the please. French flag. If you take it in there, you might spill something on it. Alright, where's the dark room? Just make sure you don't knock over anything in there. Some of those chemicals are extremely volatile. Alright, um Whoa. Look at all those bottles of chemicals. One false move and boom. Fun. All right, uh, what was the pictures? I want to look at the pictures that were up. What are you splashing around in, Nancy? The fuck? Oh, can I not look at those? Try again. No. Ooh, let's shit on the toilet while we do this. All right, what's up? Where's the, where is even the pictures? Oh, there they are. All right, uh, red, white, blue. I put that in there. How do I put it in? Oh, I put that in there. Hmm. I know turn wait, did you put it in, Nancy? I know turn off the light. Where's the light? Oh my gosh, it's ah! black in here. With all those chemicals around, I'm going to have to be real careful. Time. Did I do it? Oh dear. Wow, we died. <laughs> Oops. Yo, did I get the picture right though? One, 
two, three, four, five. Oh no, I wrecked it. Oh, okay, seven, five, eight. That's where I went wrong. Does each click count as a second? Because that's what I did, and like, it's not working. I did the right times. Fuck this, it's not my job. Now what? Actually, I'd better get to work on those prints. Ooh, let's go to the hotel. Ooh, cafe. Oui. Excusez-moi, mais êtes-vous Monsieur Traquenard? Please, in English. I do not wish to hear my native tongue butchered while I eat. Hey, no. As for my name, pff, not Traquenard. It is Jean-Michel Traquenard. Jean-Michel Traquenard. I did my best in French. Traquenard! Traquenard! Class. Traquenard! Traquenard! I did okay. Enough! What can I do for you, mademoiselle? Uh... Drew. Nancy Drew. I've just started working for Manette as an assistant. Oh? What uh, happened to Ezer? He probably fucking died. Uh, I I'm not sure what you mean. Ezer. Ezer Miki. Ezer Miki. Huh? Oh, Heather McKay. No, Heather still works for Manette. I'm kind of working for both of them. Our Lady of the Mask has fired three assistants in the past five months. <laughs> I hope you are not. Oh, nice. I am, trust. In fact, that Ezer has managed to avoid the axe for this long is uh, truly remarkable. I'm probably fired as soon as I so, get back there. Do you, like Ezer, hope to leave your mark on the world of couture? Would it be bad if I said yes? In the world of couture, a single creation worn by someone famous to a high-profile event, such a dress can be worth a fortune in publicity, which makes it a desperately competitive world. A dog Well, she got the first lady, world. so that's pretty a big. A world where bad things can and do happen to good people. You must order something. I insist. La carte, s'il vous plaît. Oh, but I'm really not hungry. Café au lait. Thank you. I mean, oh. merci. Order Je anything you want. Café au lait. Everything here is superb. <laughs> and Henri sort of is the doing. best waiter in all of France. Well, in that case... They don't got that? What the fuck? Ooh, ice cream creme de glace. The creme de glace, please. Oui, mademoiselle. Merci, Henri. Ajoutez-le à mon édition, s'il vous plaît. Certainement. Ice cream with a sprig of mint on top. So refreshing. Mm, Bitch, I didn't yeah. ask for a minute. You saying mm. my breast stinks? Damn, Nancy. That was wonderful. Excusez-moi, mademoiselle. So, what else do you wish from me? With that steak frites? Let me get that. Do you have any idea why Manette wears that mask? Publicity. I believe she get is people the victim talking. Of botched plastic surgery. Oh. Do you have proof? Ooh. No. But I tell you this, Nancy. Some women with noses that would put birds of prey to shame are perfectly content with their appearance, while others with acceptable features are convinced they are more hideous than Frankenstein. Self-image. It can make people do strange things. If you had to name Minette's worst enemy, who would that be? Hugo Batelli, without a doubt. Hugo, what did you do? Have similar design styles, so that they are constantly competing for the same couture clients. But both of them are unthinking, socially inept egoists. It is a rare week that goes by without one of them insulting the other. Has it ever gone beyond words? Not to my knowledge. You ask very curious questions, Mademoiselle Drew. They make me think you know more than you are saying. And as a member of the press, I'm not sure that I like that. Fuck off, bitch. Fucking shit on your bald ass head and rub it in like it's hair. Ew, <laughs> that's gross. How can I contact this Hugo Butterly person? His phone number is right here in my digital assistant. Of course, it's extremely unlikely that you will be able to talk to him in person, 
Even I occasionally have trouble penetrating the wall of sycophants that surrounds him. Please don't so, say the word penetrating. Do you, wish from me? do you have a real office somewhere? When I'm writing my column, I go to my office at Glam Glam. Ooh, Glam Glam. When I'm researching my column, I come here. I have my telephone, which can do everything safe, sings the Marseillaise, good food, and a chair for whomever stops by. We'll talk again later, okay? A tout à l'heure. All right, let's um, call the du that dude. Oh, are we leaving? Guess we'll go here. We're never making that tea. Oh my God. I'm gonna blow up again. <laughs> Except Manette's gonna blow us up. Who the fuck are you, bitch? Come in, come in, set your things down and come on over here. Hi, Australian. JJ. I shake your hand, but I get flour all over you. Oh, and Heather called and told me about your luggage. No worries. I have plenty of clothes in every size imaginable. Your bedroom's down that hall. The airline lost my luggage once, told me it was gone for good and paid me $100. Then five years later, my suitcase shows up on my doorstep. And a bill for the $100 they'd paid me. Plus interest. Oh my gosh, really? What? You don't believe me? No. Actually, no. Ooh, you're honest, you're smart. You and I are gonna get along great, Nancy Drew. You were right not to believe me. I made it up. But See, why? See, to be a good model, you kind of have to be a good actress, too. So sometimes I make things up, you know, just for practice. Just to see if I can get people to believe me. Doesn't that make people kind of mad? Some people, yeah. But I don't do it to be mean. And it's not like I'm hurting anybody. I'm just being creative. I've got some people convinced that I won the lottery and I'm actually a millionaire. It's kind of fun. You like chocolate chip cookies? I wouldn't do that shit. They'd be like, can I get the money? Like all the time. I don't know if I want cookies from you, but yeah, I do. I love chocolate chip cookies. Cause cookies. So do I. And the nice thing is, I've got I'm about donut. three pounds shy of being the perfect size 12 that I need to be for minutes. I've been waiting to eat it. I have it. a very high metabolism. So, I make cookies, I eat cookies, and since you're here, I share cookies. Oh, plus size model. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't make her like real thin. Why does Manette want you to be a size 12? Contractually, I have to be a size 12. Oh, See, right. Manette is into curves, so she designs clothes for full figured curvy women. Because I signed on to be a fitting model, I have to maintain the ideal size 12 weight and shape. Can you think of anyone who might be out to get Minette? Well, Dieter, obviously. Dieter von Schwesterkronk? He and Minette went out for about six months. Then Dieter all of a von sudden, last April, Minette dumped him. Just tossed him aside like last month's edition of Vogue. I would too. Do you know why she broke it off? No idea. Although I suspect it has something to do with the fact that Dieter lets his pet boa constrictor run loose in that photographic studio of his. He has a pet boa constrictor? That's what I said. Don't you believe me? Um... I kind of believe her on this one, but I'm going to say no. <laughs> nice try, JJ. This time I'm telling the truth. Dieter beat really me with does with the spoon. keep a snake in his studio. Hardly anybody knows about it. I think it may be illegal. If you happen to be in there, be careful. God, he didn't tell me. Uh, let's snitch. Does anyone else live here? Nope. It's just me. And you now. I'm Managed scared. Managed to get a short-term lease. Soon as I'm done being Minette's fitting model, I am out of here. What's a fitting model? A fitting model puts on samples from a designer's latest line, so the designer can create each piece on a real live person instead of a dress form. It's not very exciting. In fact, it's totally boring. Plus, you're always getting stabbed with pins. But it pays the bills. Heather wants me to pick up an envelope from you? Oh yeah, it's right over there. Heather needed a bunch of personal information so they can pay me, but I refused to give it out over the phone. I'm real paranoid about that sort of stuff. Don't ask me why, I just am. Go ahead and take it to her. But you wrote it on paper? Whatever. See you later. I'll let you get See back ya. to your cookie dough. 
Forget something. I'll be back in a bit. Ciao, Bella. Excuse me? This is France. Thanks. Forget something. No, I'm get trying to, to snoop. Dough. Take care. Crack is this bitch smoking? Mr. Butterly? Who is this? Well, it's obviously not who you think it is. My name's Nancy Drew. I don't know any Nancy Drew. I'm a, kind of a friend of Minette's. Hell, I know. And you don't like her? Let's see. Her work is repugnant, pedestrian, completely boring and amateurish at best. How could I possibly like someone who churns out such dreck? Now, if you'll excuse me, whoever you are, I'm going to hang up. Goodbye, then. No, wait. I just want to... <gasps> Rats. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to um, send her the cheese. Oh, no. I probably shouldn't. Need an herb buck. Fucking herb buck. A mint shortage? Wow. I just had mint in the ice cream. Let me read the fridge. Uh. Don't look at me. Shit, I'm just gonna make whatever the fuck tea I'm gonna make. That shit in there. That shit. Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Boojum, yeah, I like that. Beowulf, yes. All done. I finished making your tea. Just leave it there. Okay. Did I leave it? Oh, I left it. Minette, you've really outdone yourself. Where is she? Oh Not now, I'm busy. But I'm... Uh, I have questions. I want to snoop oh into God, your life. that's horrible. Heather, you tell Nancy that she made my tea wrong and that unless she wants to be on the first plane back to the States, she better get back in here and make it right. You heard her. Bitch, give me an herb book. These are not even real herbs, are they? Are they real herbs? Hold up, let me... I don't want to hurt of these herbs. Let's see. Gaviform. Dude, this shit is a bitch. Where's my phone? Oh, it's in my pocket. Okay. Vagifer. <laughs> v Magic Bulber Balm. Best labia cream. Vaginal tightening pills. Dude. I'm joking. I'm not. That is not a real herbs, dog. Oh wait, I spelled it wrong. My bad. It's a bird. Look, he's cute. Gaviform herbs. Yeah, Nancy Drew comes up because it's just straight up made up. You're gonna make up fucking herbs. Give me the fucking herb book. Where's the fucking herb book, bitches? You little sh fucking assholes. How do you expect me to fucking know? Leave that alone, okay? Why don't you leave me the fuck alone, you stupid bitch? Kill everyone. Workplace violence. I'm losing it. <laughs> Where's the fucking herb book, I bitch? I want that tea, Nancy. Where is it? At least the fucking Dieter von Schmack and Schmack. Oh, so rude, Minette. Gave me a fucking book on how to do shit. 
I don't feel like doing this now. I know, Nancy. I feel you on that, dude. For real. I shouldn't ask a question this time. Wait, they're it's different. Oh, I guess I never looked at the full thing. Oopsie, that was my fault. Looking up the walkthrough, fuck that shit. They, they think I got time for this shit? Bro, I have a life. <laughs> there, I'm leaving your tea on the table. It's about time. All right, so we got it's good now. Shit, I was like, I'd add like fucking 50 into there. Like, I'm running out of hard drive space on the recording. I don't, like, nah. what do they think this is? All right, leave. Where's the door? Did I miss it? There you are. Leave this foul place. wrong again. She's waiting. Excuse me? I did not make the fucking tea wrong. This fucking time. I looked up the fucking playthrough. You little bitches, you fucking whores. I will. No. Oh. I'm gonna start sending fucking angry letters to this fucking bitch. I did not fucking make it wrong. I did it right. Fuck, I hate this. I hate. Oh, wait. I gotta. You know what? I don't feel like doing this now. Fucking pour the tea this out. This can bitch. wait. Nancy. I'll work on this later. Nancy hates this shit. Alright. I don't feel like doing this now. Try this again. Maybe I missed one. The shit is right. The tea is utterly rude. Oh, okay, good. I can already <laughs> feel my creativity flowing again, building like a wave on the ocean, surging towards some unseen shore. I have another job for you, a very critical job. See the stuff that I've been studying? That, in essence, is my spring collection. Uh-huh. All those objects have certain things in common which speak to and stimulate the artistic sinews of my subconscious, from which all the designs I need will eventually burst forth. Uh-huh. They're all totally rude, but they're not enough. I need more, Nancy. You need to take the number seven metro to Pont Neuf, go to the flea market in Square de Vergalant Park, and buy me four more things with qualities identical to the ones each of these possesses. But Use this bag. Put everything in there as soon as you buy it. I don't want anyone seeing what you bring me. It could give away my whole collection. Here's some money. I'm just supposed to go out and buy It's like bucket things? things. Stuff. I want stuff. New stuff that's just like this old stuff, only different. Now just take a good look at my stuff, then go. Go! I think I got it. This <laughs> fucking she gonna put the plus size model in a fucking barrel, dude. <laughs> Cruel. Wait, see these like hold water and stuff, but this is for your ass. What's that? Is that part of the windmill? What is that? All right, whatever. I'm gonna buy, go buy some shit. I'm gonna buy myself some stuff and never come back. How about that? Now that sounds like a good idea. Out of this horrible place. Point punk noof. Noof. Nine. Where is the loop? Where I buy it? Fuck. 
Bonjour. Lequel préférez-vous? Parlez-vous anglais? If you buy, I speak whatever you like. I see you over there at the monument with the cross of Lorraine. You are a tourist? Actually, I have a job here in Paris, but it's only temporary. So I guess I'm kind of a tourist. Tourists are good. I welcome tourists. I am Malika. I sell fine things from around the world. The others who sell here, they sell things which they pry from the muck of their basements. You see something you like? Well, that kind of looks like the weird thing. That's cool. Guess I'm just not in a buying mood. I'll be back. When you come back. I'm window then shopping. I have what you like. I'll remember that. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. What's that? A fish. Wow. Creative. Yeah. Who you? What you do? Bonjour, Be bird? Mademoiselle. Monsieur Marchand, de votre service. Bonjour, Monsieur Marchand. American tourist? Sort of. Is that okay? I like Americans. They are smart. I sell good stuff and they can tell. So, what are you going to buy? That's well, like a lid too. This and this. Can never have too many of these, I guess. That's like it the barrel. It is an excellent coffee can. I practically give it to you for seven euro. One euro, bitch. It's still just a coffee can. I'll take it off your hands for one euro. Vendu. What else tickles the fancy? <laughs> this. You're selling a manhole cover? Why not? It is a genuine Parisian manhole cover. One which would make a fine souvenir for someone back home. And it is only a 45 euro. Hmm, 11. I'll give you 11 euros for it. The metal it's made of is worth more than that. 45 euro, I'll take it or leave it. Fine, no. I don't think I want it after I'll try all. 23. What the hell tickles the fancy? The fuck? This thing costs how much? 45 euro. I'll all right, fine, it. bitch. What the hell tickles the fancy? Hmm. No, no. Oh, that's a book. This What's book that? on car repair might come in handy. If you are the driver of a car, you must have that book. You never know when something is going to break or wear out we or don't just even have a car. boom, explode. Peace of mind. That is what that little book gives you. And it is yours for just 11 euros. Eh, I'm not interested. What we'll get it if we need it later. I really don't want to buy anything right now. By any chance, does uh, Mademoiselle wish to earn some money? Maybe. How? I talk about my the dick. Tourists, uh, they like to buy hand-painted reproductions of famous works of art. But as you can see, it is difficult for me to paint them. But for a young woman such as you, it is easy. You want me to paint the reproductions? You see? The lines are already there. You look at the original Ooh. painting, you put paint on your brush, you paint between the lines. Voila! A painting which the tourists will gobble up. And I pay you 15 euros for each one you complete. Fun. Do you wish to start now? If you don't mind. But of course. Monsieur, how's this? You have done it wrong. I cannot pay you for this because I cannot sell this. I'm sorry. Let me try again, please. Go. Paint another. I saw this one out. But please, no more mistakes. <laughs> I am not a rich man, you know. Oh, what? Huh? Excuse me? Oh, no, no, no. Monsieur, how's this? Ah, you have done it wrong again. I'm I done, bitch. I'm sick of everyone's fucking Perhaps shitty attitudes. Perhaps. I really this don't is not a good workplace. Right now. I get no things all Go the time. Away. You must come Au revoir, au revoir, au revoir. Well, just do that. Goodbye. Au revoir. You cannot stay away. This is good. What do you like? Let's get a shiny thing. Hmm. How much are you selling this for? Put some flowers around the bottom and voila, you have a centerpiece. And I ask only eight euros. I'll give you four euros for it. Voila. Good what shit. What else do you like? Um, I don't know. It seems pretty good. I'm just not in a buying mood. Next time I have what you want. 
Sounds good. Au revoir. Au revoir. Oops. All right, let's go back and see. Um... Oh, look, Nancy Drew. Uh, if those things are good enough. We might have to get more, though. Like, I wonder if there's something that corresponds with each item. I'm not sure about the, like, flower thing I got. If you need to talk to Minette, good luck. She's playing that ridiculous online game she's obsessed with and refuses to do anything else until she gets the highest score. It is so aggravating. Minette. Minette. Hey, Hello, bitch. Minette. Minette, 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 